We're looking at a strange crescent-shaped object in this one, folks. This is down in Raucous Terra at a site in Hunton. Let's get cracking on. The photograph we're analyzing, we've seen this one before, is called Fresh Small Crater on Rocky Fold Floor of a Much Larger Crater. Acquired on the 15th of August 2012 at 25.3 centimeters per pixel. There's a look at the anomaly, folks. It even shows up in the low res black and white, and this is about 200 to 300 meters wide. Located in Hunton, southern mid latitudes at 38 degrees, 59 minutes south, 23 degrees 33 minutes east. And there it is zoomed out. So the outer circular depression. The diameter of that measures about 300 meters across. So what are we looking at here, folks? This looks like it's flat, almost like a platform. And then this over here looks like it could be open. This could be a natural circular depression, but it doesn't look like a typical crater to me, guys, especially with this flat surface inside of this crescent-shaped piece. There's the illustration I put together, an artist's impression of what I speculate this might be. Could it be an entranceway to an underground system? Some type of platform? We can only speculate, folks. We need to get there to check this out for ourselves. As I say, highly speculative, but I reckon we're looking at some other type of structure here, guys. Also, in the same photograph, we've got that strange anomaly that I featured in one of my last videos, and that piece there is about 9 meters across. Very strange design to it. We've got this rounded scoop-like part in the front. This larger, rounded, almost like a cylinder part at the back. Strange rectangular part sticking out of what looks like an opening there. And then a weird dark slot on this one side with a little protrusion or part sticking out of it right there, guys. And then this, I don't know if it's part of it, but it reminds me of those stone carvings of scarab beetles that we find in Egypt. And there's the illustration that I presented for that anomaly. This is what I think it might look like up close and in high res. Highly speculative, I know, guys and girls. But it is rather weird with this rounded scoop like part in front and the geometry and symmetry of the entire thing is just very strange. Also in the same photograph we've got that disc with a small part in its center. That disc there measures about six to eight meters in diameter. Highly geometric and symmetrical as well. And then lastly, also in the same photograph, we have an arrangement of four smaller parts on that block, which is about five by five meters in size. Check that out, folks. Four dark spots arranged in a square pattern right there. Let's have a look at that site and some of the other anomalies close by. So we've got Hunton, and within it we've got these strange objects. Also another disc that was featured in a previous video with a small part in its center. It looks like it's wedged into that boulder or larger part there. Now let's shoot off to that site to the top left 
about 50 kilometers west of the site. Check out the geometry and symmetry of this feature. These two large circular depressions are about 10 meters in diameter with the small triangle in the center and going off perpendicular to smaller circular depressions and you've seen that sort of T-shaped depiction on other anomalies all over Mars. More megaliths with these strange protrusions or knobs on them, very similar to those that we find in South America. And with that said, we've reached the end of this one. Thanks for watching. Much appreciated. Let's have a chat in the comments below. I'd love to hear what you think of this strange crescent-shaped piece inside the circular depression. It doesn't look like a typical crater to me, guys and girls. But anyway, let me know what you think. And then uh, to my new subscribers, welcome on board. Thanks for joining the channel. Take care, everybody. I'll see you in Chris's hangout tonight. Ciao for now.